Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about port addresses. A port address in TCP IP is 16 bits in length. In previous tutorial, we studied about IP addresses and the physical addresses. The IP address and the physical address are necessary for transferring the data from source computer to the destination computer. But it is not our final objective. What is our final objective? Our final objective is that uh, the process uh, which is running on a sender computer right a particular process which is running on a sender computer it sends some data for another process which is running on a destination computer so whatever the data is sent by the sender process it should be received by the intended destination process so what happens at the sender computer and the receiver computer right it may be possible at the same time many processes are running right it may be possible that at the sender and receiver many processes are running at the same time so what is the final objective whatever the data is sent by a particular process at the sender it should be received by a particular process at the receiver right so what happens it may be possible that uh, at the receiver computer many processes are running at the same time right IP addresses and the physical addresses right they are necessary just uh, for transferring the data from sender computer to the receiver computer now that data which has reached the receiver computer it should be received to the correct intended receiver process now at receiver many processes are running at the same time so what we need we need to differentiate between these processes which are running on the receiver right and uh, we need to differentiate uh, the processes also which are running at the sender computer so uh, what uh, we need uh, that uh, we need uh, that uh, these processes they must have a label in other words we can say that these processes must have some addresses so that uh, they can be differentiated right so that uh, data can be transferred from a particular process to a another particular process at the another computer so these processes must be have some addresses right so that address of a process is called a port address right in the tcp ip architecture the label assigned to a process is called a port address right now how this work it will be clear after this example suppose uh, this is the sender computer and this is the receiver computer and uh, at the sender computer three processes are running and their port addresses are a b and c and uh, at the receiver suppose uh, two processes are running their uh, port addresses are j and k right now suppose uh, a process whose uh, port address is a right it has to send the data to the process whose port address is j right so what will happen first at the sender right here at the sender what happened at transport layer right the transport layer will encapsulate the data which it receives from a uh, application layer in packet and add the port address of the sender and the port address of the receiver in that packet right so here the port address of the sender process is a and port address of the receiver process is j right then what happens at the sender at the network layer at the network layer the packet which is received from transport layer it is encapsulated into another packet with logical address of source and destination right about which we have already studied in previous tutorial right how this uh, logical addresses work right and then what happened then this packet right then this packet at a data link layer right is encapsulated in a frame with physical address of the source and the physical address of the destination right that is the physical address of the destination means physical address of the next hop right so about it also we have already studied in previous tutorial now we will study about specific addresses what happens some applications have user friendly addresses that are designed for that uh, specific address right uh, for example email address here you can see that email address xyz at the rate gmail.com right this uh, email address defines the recipient of an email right another example is universal resource locator that is url uh, 
here you can see this a universal resource locator www.xyz.com right this uh, url it is used to find a document on the world wide web so these addresses uh, uh, they changed to the corresponding port and logical addresses by the sending computer